Many of you are concerned about the world our children will inherit, and I am too. Almost three quarters of the Earth's surface have been changed by human activity, and a million plant and animal species are now threatened with extinction. I don't want to be part of the generation that saw the world go past the climate change tipping point, and I don't want to have to describe a tiger or a blue whale to my grandchildren as things that used to be. I want to be part of the generation that turned the corner, that took action. And as I speak to more investors, I find more of you feel the same way. We want our savings, our investments, our institutions to help protect the planet and help finance a shift to a fairer and sustainable world. This change matters because it changes the way you want us to invest your money. It also matters because it changes the prospects for the companies that we invest your money in. Growing social consciousness is raising the stakes for all investors. The more the public cares, the more pressure it puts on politicians and encourages progress, regulation and legislation. And this in turn creates risks for companies by forcing change. This is a new dimension to investing. Traditionally, we'd appraise investments on two dimensions, risk and return. But investing in this changing world means we need to consider a third dimension impact. So what do we mean by impact? In short, it's the wider costs and benefits of a company's entire activities or externalities. And why would an investor be interested? Because these consequences are increasingly reflected in a company's profits. It could mean carbon emissions and waste or social factors including fair wages. Through taxation or regulation or consumer choice these things are likely to influence companies' returns in the future. In practice, we need to move beyond traditional measures of profit to something we call impact-adjusted profit. Let me give you an example by comparing Nike and Adidas. Nike has annual sales of $37 billion, and our impact measurement tool suggests we should take off $400 million a year for the impact it has on people and planet through things like waste, carbon emissions, fair wages and tax practices. Compare that to Adidas, who have annual sales of $29 billion, and instead of a debit, our tool suggests we should add a $1 billion impact credit. Now I'm not making comment about which is the better investment, I'm merely trying to show you that impact is significant and shouldn't be ignored. How are impact-adjusted profits calculated? We use a range of tools and processes, drawing on thousands of data points to quantify harms and benefits. And our tools are becoming more comprehensive and sophisticated all the time. So when my children grow up, I can see that investing will have changed, that looking beyond profit will become the norm. It makes sense, doesn't it? Profit only tells half the story. The other half is about finding companies that can help create a fairer and sustainable future for generations to come.